Hi, welcome, we're doing it. We're back again, woo. Today I did a Ray makeup Star Wars look. Tried to make myself look like Ray using makeup. Trying to see how much it would cost to do so. So we're just gonna get straight into it. I'm back. It's been a while. I have been having the best time not filming and just enjoying myself. So this turmeric powder got onto my jacket cardigan thing. It looked yellow and weird and I still wanted to wear this jacket. So I just put some of the stuff that you put on when you wash your clothes and so doesn't look like she has makeup on. It's like no makeup makeup in the realest form. So I have redone my hair to really get into the spirit of it. I'm gonna try and make myself look as much like Ray as possible. I don't think I'm too far from it because I'm, I mean, alas, let's just do it. Face is pre-primed. I use the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer a lot around this area because recently my face has been drying out to no end. Usually foundation molds into the skin really nicely and it just melts in and just looks fresh. It's kind of been creating a film on my face recently and it's weird. Don't really want that, so I'm hoping if I just let these juices soak into my skin that maybe that will help. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation in Ivory because it's kind of got that sheer to medium coverage so it's not gonna make my face look cakey. Hoping this has the effect that I'm wanting it to have. I'm just gonna pump it onto the back of my hand so that I can just apply the small amount that I want to my face. I gave that a bit of a dab over the top with my damp sponge, I guess because give it a bit more of a natural effect just by smushing that product into your skin. It's a little bit more effective, especially if you have something that isn't as full coverage. I'm gonna spot conceal. Got some friends. I don't really want them to be there. I don't want it to look like I've tried to cover them up either. So I'm gonna use the Pretty Fresh by Colourpop Concealer in light 40. This is a little bit pink. I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this other Colourpop No Filter Concealer instead in shade Light 16. This is going to match this tone a little better. I do wanna add concealer under my eyes, just a tiny bit and nothing too bright. Now I'm gonna take the Pretty Fresh Colourpop Concealer and stick a little bit of that under my eyes. That tiny bit may have been too much. If it starts bunching under my eyes, I'm just gonna have to wipe it away. Looking pretty fresh, not overly lively. I'm gonna start with nose contour. Fenty Match Stick in Amber. Looking at her nose, so I have a reference picture here. Her nose, she's got a cute nose. She's kind of got some shadows here and here. Not a lot around here, so I'm not gonna bring the contour all the way down. So I've left the end of my nose, keeping that a little bit wider. Blend of the contour right up underneath my brow. She's got deeper set eyes and her brows sit closer to her eyes. My brows make me look surprised 24 seven. Those don't. So I need to give the illusion that they're sitting a little bit lower. Not gonna powder my face. If I put powder on my face, it's just going to make it look like I've got makeup on. I wanna contour my face with a cream contour to give it that skin-like dewy effect. So I'm gonna use the, whatever this is, the Hollywood Contour Wand by, this is something else. It's got a little spongy thing on the end, which is kind of weird, but it doesn't dry down super fast, so you're not gonna end up with lines. It doesn't pull your foundation off, which is great. Cream contour is ideal. It often takes a little bit longer. Now, looking at her contour, super minimal, but her cheekbones are really high. She's got a bit of a hollow through here, just a tad, and then you can see where she's got a bit of contour up around her forehead. I wanna replicate that, but we'll see how we go. Looks natural, pretty natural. Totally not my favorite. I would 100% want to put more contour on than this, but we're going for natural. We're going for super duper 
natural. We do need to add some stuff. I feel like the brows are kind of the most important with this look because her brows define so much of her face. My brows sit super high, hers do not. They're more like this. This just looks like I'm frowning. So I need to bring my brows down my face. I'm gonna do that by I'm gonna brush them down. I don't know who ever wants to brush their brows down, but today we're brushing them down. So I'm gonna take this brow pencil. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. I'm using this one instead of the benefit precisely my brow brow pencil because I ran out of that one. I have this one, significantly cheaper. Also, her brows sit a lot closer than mine do, so I'm going to bring them in. Well, these brow hairs want to keep fluffing up though. I look like I'm just frowning on this side of my face. I do want to put powder in my brows to kind of really set in where I've drawn. I'm gonna use the Kevin Kwan this little duo that I have. It's actually a contour duo, but I like to use the brown for my brows. You can really use anything. I often use eyeshadow. Powder is powder, and you can really use it anywhere. I'm gonna put in a little bit of gel, hopefully to hold the hairs down, because they just keep trying to spring up. I have the Glossier Boy Brow, got this one for Christmas. So I've been using this instead of the Boss Brow Gel by ColourPop. So I feel like the brows are making a difference. Also, I feel like they make me look angry. She doesn't really have a big eye crease, nor does she have a lot of lid. I'm gonna shade in through here. I'm gonna use that same contour shade. I obviously have a lot more space between my brow and my eyeball, but we can shade it to give the illusion that it is smaller. got some heavy shading going on under there. She obviously doesn't have any other shadow on her eyes because she's not putting on makeup. That being said, let's use a little bit of eyeliner. I've got this brown pencil liner. I'm gonna dot that into my lash line top and bottom to give that definition around my eyes without making it look like I have liner on. My eyelashes are blonde, so they're not really visible as is. She's got just a little bit of mascara, just enough to make her lashes visible. Not enough mascara to make her eyeballs look like spiders. I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. Literally any mascara will work. It's basically just put a bit of black on them. Okay, maybe the mascara worked just a little bit too well. Maybe a crappy one would have been better. So this is pretty much the face. In a couple of photos, it looks like she's got some freckles on her face. Gonna help this look more natural. If you can see freckles on your face, you can't be wearing makeup. Using that eyebrow pencil, gonna put little dots all over my face. Where does she have these? I think this lighting makes me look extra white and extra washed out. I don't even know if you can see the freckles. As the day wears, the makeup's gonna sink into my face. My lines are gonna come through a little bit more. I'm gonna look a little more natural. My lip shape is kind of similar. Her cupid's bow is a little bit smaller. So if you wanna be super picky, you can get a nudie pink colored lip liner. This one's from NYX. A little lip balm. I've got this Laneige, Laneige, Laneige. With minimal makeup, good contouring, bit of the brow transplant. We did it. Got my Jedi cape on. I wasn't gonna go as far as 
dressing like her because that is a challenge I was not ready to commit to. In terms of products, you want a little bit better quality foundation that is more on the sheer to medium coverage. I used an expensive contour because I know that this one is good. It's gonna give me that natural look that I want. Everything else, you can get away with anything. And I really didn't use a lot of products. Pretty affordable in my opinion. I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you like this look. Give me a like down below. Also go follow me on Instagram at amy underscore Leisha. You guys are great. I'm gonna go. Bye.